Welcome to another Forge Hub video. This is PsychoDuck, and today I am here with a quick Forge tutorial on how to create snow and rain effects in Halo 5 Forge. This trick was developed by Jesus in Malibu, and it's just in time to get in that holiday spirit. Setting up the snow effect is actually pretty easy. So all you'll need to do is go into Map Options, and you're going to edit this with the fog. So this looks best on the midday version of Glacier, but you can use it on the other versions. So we're going to go over to the Starfield fog type. We're going to make sure our fog colors are white, and then we're going to crank the scale up to something around 4. We're going to turn thickness and brightness each up to 10. Now you can see we have this snow effect and in order to make it pop a little bit more I'm going to change the distance fog color to black. And I'm also going to override the wind and we're going to make the snow actually fall by going negative in the Z direction. You can change the speed it falls, and of course you can change uh, the X and Y as well to create different kinds of flurries and whatnot. But it's really that simple. It looks really, really good, and uh, it's really simple to set up. Something you'll have to keep in mind is that with, like with any particle effect you're adding to your map, uh, it's going to put a little bit of extra strain on the engine, so just Keep that in mind when you're building, and uh, you should be able to avoid any performance issues, no problem. To create the rain effect, just go over to the Alpine canvas, and keep in mind that the overcast lighting variant is actually not going to work. Uh, it's got some bugs with the way that the fog works. But the rain effect looks pretty good, it's not quite as impressive as the snow effect, but you set it up in much the same way. So you go to your map options and you play with the near fog. You want the star field effect again. Uh, you'll want to go with these uh, blue color variants for the fog color. And the scale is actually going to be 10. The thickness will be five and the brightness will be six. Though, you can play with all of these numbers, of course. The brightness uh, can kind of change how heavy the rain is. Uh, then, for the distance fog, I would recommend using Ocean Green. kind of gives this haziness and uh, this wetness to the map. Uh, and then, of course, the thickness here should be around 3.5, and the brightness should be about 0.5, so it's kind of dark while it's raining. Uh, I turned on cloud shadows. You don't have to do this. I thought the northern darkness shadow kind of helped uh, sell that wet rainy theme. And then for wind, uh, you'll just you can do whatever you want for X and Y, but uh, for Z, you'll want to go with something around 3.5. You can also combine all of this with sound emitters. You can use a fire sound emitter actually sounds kind of like rainfall and you can use a thunder sound emitter as well both of which are really cool and kind of help sell this whole rainy atmosphere so hopefully you guys find this trick helpful i can't wait to see what you guys come up with and i'll talk to you guys next time thanks for watching